Who's the cutest one around? You are. Just kidding. You are. You're the cutest one, Liv. You're both cute. Well, today we are getting up and going to Aldi. We're going to go shopping for some more food. So we're going to Aldi and then we're going to the chiropractor. I've been going to the chiropractor lately because I've been having issues with my back for like the past two years. I've had like constant pain. So we're finally getting that taken care of. We were seeing one chiropractor off and on for those two years um and nothing's been helping it's it's not been going anywhere so we switched chiropractors and we've only been to this one a few times so it's already helping a lot so um it's not that early it's like nine o'clock but i'm pretty tired still because livy got me up a lot last night but that's okay we'll get going here you ready to go yeah all right Libby's trying out sitting in the cart for the first time. Do you like it, Libby? Do you like it? Hi! <laughs> Alright, what'd we get? We got jelly, we got blueberries, we got avocado, we got coffee, we got granola, we got coconut oil, we got beef. We got chicken, we got chicken, we got chicken. So we're gonna stop at this place called Origins Cafe. And we're gonna get this very yummy looking chicken salad. Right, so this place is an organic and gluten free place. We've never tried it before. too because there's a lot of different roads that we have to turn on to but he knows how to get there is hey this... I didn't say it was the most direct route but we still end up getting there is this just how guys are you just insist that you know how to get places even if you don't really know how to get there like does it make you feel like accomplished if you get there without the map if I were to tell you that this is a mental exercise and it will be improving my memory and cognitive function, you'd be happy about it. I guess that's one way to look at it. It doesn't matter what I do, I cannot get this girl to keep her socks on. Huh. <laughs> she 
pulls them off, she kicks them off, she gets them off any way she can, <laughs> as quickly as she can, as soon as I put them on her. Huh. Yep. See, yep, that's what I do. See, that's what I do. I take my socks off so I can play with my feet. <laughs> super, super windy out today. We've come to pick Luke up. We're just waiting for him to get done. <laughs> We started living on solids about a week and a half or so ago and she loves it. She really likes her food. She's had chicken chicken puree, she's had avocado puree, um, and she's done really great on both of those. She loves the avocado, loves, loves, loves the avocado. Tonight is her first night with her pureed carrots. It's made with... Um, some homemade organic chicken stock. So homemade organic chicken stock, some grass-fed organic butter, and an organic carrots. So we'll give this to her and see if she likes it. You ready for your food? And when she's done with her meal, I give her just a little bit of water just to wash it down. Sometimes I give it to her in a shot glass and sometimes regular cup, but she really likes to play with the regular cup, so. All right, Liv, we got carrots tonight. It's not your avocado, but they're still extra yummy. What do we think? Are they good? drinks. What did you get, Luke? I got a latte. And I got a hot chocolate made with coconut milk. What do you think of yours? It's really good. It's the right temperature. They knew how to froth the milk properly. Pull the fresh shot of espresso. It's 9 out of 10. I can't really give a great review because it's my favorite coffee place, so I'm going to inherently be biased towards it. But, but why is it your favorite? There's also a reason it's my <laughs> favorite. I wanted a drink that was um, not overly sweet and not caffeinated, so I got um, the hot chocolate, and they use their own chocolate and it came out perfect. It's not overly sweet, and it's just the right amount of chocolatey. Um, now, I have gotten chai tea there before, and in my opinion, they don't make a great chai tea, but they do great on everything else, so. That was close to a year ago, so yeah. we don't know what the chai tea is like recently. Yeah, it was, it was quite a while ago, so. I like their hot chocolate a lot. I like that they use their own chocolate. Um, and I like the place too. It has a really nice vibe. It's a really nice atmosphere. So, great experience. 
I guess it's a 9 out of 10, right? Yeah. I would also give it a 9 out of 10 because I love everything about it, except for their chai tea the last time I had it, so. Oh, they make really good food, too. They do. All right. And thus concludes another coffee review from Second Wind Coffee in Johnstown, New York. Right, Johnstown? Yeah. Yes.